hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you people are doing well so welcome back to my class online youtube classes here i will be dealing with mainly class 10 chapters okay of maths i will be covering all the chapters from basics okay chapter wise so stay tuned and uh, this channel is really going to helpful for you to prepare well for your exam okay so if you are new to this channel kindly do subscribe it and don't forget to like comment and share so this is our first video okay on pair of linear equations in two variables okay so in this video i am going to first tell you about the basics of this chapter okay first we'll see basic things okay which is required in this chapter if you know the basics only then you can solve everything from this chapter okay so we will go point wise okay so first of all what is this linear equation before that what is an equation and prior to that what is an expression if i write a number 4 x plus 4 okay and if i write 4 x equals to 4 what is the difference between these two so this one is just an expression what is this this is called as an expression okay and here since you have a sign you can see it here called as equal sign so we call this as an equation the difference is only this equal sign okay so even this is an expression an expression with equal sign in it okay is called as an equation okay and an expression is just an expression just 4x plus 4 they are not going to say whether it is equal to something or not it is just an expression they have just made okay a statement there nothing else so what does they indicate okay if i take an expression or an equation see if you look at these two terms it is 4x and 4 they are called as what terms okay they are called as terms and this 4 and 4 okay what are they they are real numbers they can be any real numbers okay and this x is what it is unknown we don't know the value of x okay here real numbers they can be known to us here we know them 4 and 4 but x can be anything okay so we call them as we call such term as variables okay so in any an, an expression have real numbers and variables what about equation same real numbers and variables but there is a equal sign in them okay which separates the lhs as well as the rhs okay so left hand side and this is right hand side got it okay next if i write uh, ax plus b y plus c equals to 0 okay and if i write ax plus b equals to 0 what is the difference here c here a b and c again they are real numbers and if you say x and y they are what variables again if you take a and b what are they real number they can be any real number and x is what it is a variable okay so if you see this equation you have only one variable so we call them as linear equation in one variable okay and here if you see you have two variables x and y so we call them linear equation in two variables so i hope you understood the meaning of variable okay now why can't we call this as cubic equation or some something else like uh, a quadratic equation see if you look at the variables what is the variable here x and here y here it is x 
so if the degree of variable degree means its power if i write x square so degree is 2 if i write x power 4 what is degree 4 so if i write just x what is its degree it is just 1 if i write x power 1 or x it means same so if the degree okay or you can write highest degree okay highest degree is 1 then we call such equation highest degree of what variable this is most important highest degree of the variable is 1 then that equation is called as a linear equation okay what does it called as it is called as linear equation i hope it's clear okay if the degree highest degree is 2 then it is quadratic equation okay for example if i write 2x plus 4x square minus 4 equals to 0 so here x is there here is also x but the degree is 2 highest degree among this is 2 among the variable is 2 therefore it is quadratic and if the degree is 3 it is called as what cubic so we'll look on these later our current chapter is this linear so we'll understand about them first properly so i hope you have understood the difference between linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variable next if i write ax plus bx plus c equals to zero what is this this is the standard form okay of a linear equation in two variable okay some of the examples are like uh, 2x plus 3y equals to 4 this can also be written as 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0 okay if you bring this to LHS it's become minus 4 and in the RHS you have just 0 okay and if I write x plus y plus 4 equals to 0 all of them are what they are linear equations okay now these equations represent straight line what do they represent straight line on a graph graphically they represent a straight line okay you might have seen the graph x-axis and your y-axis okay so if I uh, take one example for example 2x plus 3y equals to 5 okay this will represent what it will represent a line on this graph okay for example this is the line this line is represented by the graph uh, equation 2x plus 3y equals to 5 now for a equation we have a solution what do we have a solution what is a solution a solution is one which when we substitute it in the equation the both LHS and RHS become same for example if I take x1 and y1 this will become 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 which is equal to 5 and that is equal to RHS so we can say x as 1 and y as 1 as a solution 1 comma 1 is the is one of the solution of the equation 2x plus 3y what does it mean this means the points 1 comma 1 lie on this line okay it's it means it can lie on the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 when drawn in a graph okay so this is the basic meaning okay so i hope you have understood the basics of linear equation okay now since we have just taken one equation ax plus by plus c equals to zero this is called as linear equation okay in two variable if i take another equation ax plus by plus c equals to 0 but both of them look similar right so what we will do we will just name this as a1 b1 c1 and this is a2 b2 c2 now there are a pair of linear equations how a pair pair means what two in number so there are two linear equations so we call them as a pair of linear equations in two variables okay now since one equation was representing a single line it can be either like this like this or like this all of them are line graphically okay and even this will represent what a line so if we take both these together they will represent 
either parallel line or coincident line uh, sorry intersecting line or coincident line okay these two equations can represent parallel intersecting or what yes this is co incident a line upon the same line okay one line and there is another line on the same line we call such as coincident and they are represented like this coincident lines so how are you going to uh, identify whether the given equations are representing parallel intersecting and coincident so these things we will learn in our next video okay so till then try to learn the basics first we'll move okay aram se one by one okay so that's all for today and one more thing i would like to say see still the admission is open for this okay you can go through it online coaching class for maths okay the complete syllabus will be completed and this is going to start from 1st august okay 1st august is sunday and on that day it will be a uh, demo class okay online demo class on zoom so if you want to know this about this in detail you can contact me on this number okay here i have provided my name is this sajid ali and this is my number you can contact me on this to know about this in detail okay so i hope this video has was useful we'll see you all in my next video Till then, take care, bye, keep learning, don't forget to like, comment and share and also do subscribe the channel. See you, bye.